Welcome to my tutorial on Pharaoh's data compilation. Um, what we'll look at is the basic parameters of use um, and also I wanted to identify the most useful reports and methods of data extraction, exporting, compilation using Pharaoh's reports. Um, each of the reports identified We'll review the function, um, the strengths and weaknesses, uh, the limitations of the reporting method, and a description of the application. That is to say, how the data may be used for the purposes of academic technology planning and operational assessments. Pharaoh's Reports is available on Manager Workstations under the Lab Utilities menu. Um, Pharaoh's Reports it provides the ability to run a variety of summary analysis reports using our Pharaoh's data. Login can be REC or I-407 REC. Uh, when you log into Pharaoh's Reports, you'll find that reports are categorized by tab in this left panel. Uh, the tabs are entitled charging, miscellaneous, printing, users, and transactions. Um, so simply select the tab category that applies to your area of interest and you'll see a list of specific reports that are available for you to run. Once the once Ferris Reports has enabled uh, the selected reporting mechanism, you'll then have to select select the parameters of your query, uh, e.g., date range, printer, user, user group, etc. Um, there are varying parameters depending upon the query you're running. Here for the print summary, um, the parameters are limited to date range. And there you go. Once you click preview up here, Pharos Reports will generate the data related to your query. So next I'd like to walk you through the procedure for exporting data. You can see here I generated a quick uh, graph based on uh, the print summary by week. While this is handy for quick reference, I often find that I need more flexibility. Um, and so it's helpful for me to export the data and work in Excel and in some cases SPSS. Uh, this will require you to export this report from Pharaoh's reports and into an alternate format. So I'm going to walk you through what I find to be the best practice here. Um, so export. You can see here among the format options there's a variety. If you really want to go bare bones you can strip it down to a text document um, but typically I find that Microsoft Excel uh, create an XLS file you with that um, provides data only. Um, so any of the visual elements, uh, graphical elements of the Pharos report will not appear in that generated result. So we'll click OK. See up here we have Excel formatting options. There are custom options. Um, you can play around with these. Um, but I typically find it easiest to just select minimal and click OK. Then quite simply you are prompted to title your document and save it. Once the document is saved you can go into Excel and pick up your file and then begin manipulating it. Now we'll take a look at some specific reports. Um, this first one here 
is an hourly statistics report. Um, this is a summary report of print transactions printed on specific printers or there's an all printer option between a set start and end date. Um, reports on the average and upper bound um, for that period of, uh, of time specified. Um, let's see the positives to this report. It does synthesize a large volume of data into a single graph. Um, good thing about that is that it's it doesn't require a lot of manipulation to extract meaningful themes. It kind of tells the story right off the bat. Uh, that also plays into some of its weakness though. Uh, one thing that I find frustrating about this one, that this graph is, I think there might be more information and a, a broader picture of operations that can be illustrated, but it does not generate any actual numeric data, um, so it's very difficult to work with. Um, and the frequency averages and time of day can only really be approximated. Um, so where this might come in handy, it can, it can help in terms of scheduling, um, identifying periods of the day with high output volumes, and um, ensuring there's sufficient staff on hand to accommodate that. Um, and one item that has been in discussion is the allowance by a new version of Pharos, which will allow for discount rates based on the time of day. If in fact that is an item we want to employ, this report will be essential in identifying what off-peak hours uh, might really look like. Another application is uh, um, we've looked at uh, overnight hours of the POC. Um, I'm sh those are discussions I'm sure will continue. Um, so I'm just going to show you and just to illustrate also um, the date range excuse me and why the date range is important you see here we can start to see some of the overnight behavior um, but in terms of these averages you want to make sure that your date range is, is really specific otherwise for example right now our averages are all being skewed down here um, because we are evaluating a period that runs through the regular portion of the term so if you're going to make any over